All right, well, when I installed this James Madison tactical drop-in trigger, um, I had promised another video to talk about the, the trigger pull. So I got a Lyman trigger gauge here today. So we're gonna measure the trigger pull and let you guys see um, exactly how it is. And then after we measure the trigger pull, we're gonna talk about the reset. We're ready to do that trigger pull test now. We're gonna do a three pull average, and we just wanna show everybody that we are clear, we are safety checked. So we'll close the bolt now, and we'll do our first pull. Pull number one. Pull number two. Pull number three. The average was uh, three pounds, 11 ounces. All right, so now I'm gonna lastly talk about the reset. So right now, I'm gonna reset. So you can see the distance that it goes back on the reset. It's not much. And then I'm gonna show you how far, it, how far the take up is. The take up's more than the reset, it seems like. One of the things James Madison claims on their website is to have a really um, close reset. So I'd say for 99 bucks, it's not a bad trigger. It's probably not the best trigger out there, but there's a lot worse and it's a whole lot better than a mil spec. All right, so that was the James Madison Tactical uh, Sabre drop-in trigger. It's a single stage, and like I was saying, for 99 bucks, I think it's a pretty good value. Um, there's a lot better triggers out there, but there's a whole lot worse. So if you could find this on sale, maybe 89 bucks, it'd probably be a pretty good bargain.